Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is of the Teams application interface. In the following lessons within this chapter, you will examine the elements of the Teams environment. New users should first familiarize themselves with the tools and elements within the program's environment to best utilize its resources. The App Bar is the primary navigation tool in Teams and runs along the left side of the Teams desktop client and at the bottom of the Teams mobile clients on iOS and Android devices. The buttons in the app bar link to different areas of Teams or additional apps. By default, the Microsoft Teams buttons displayed in the app bar are Activity, Chat, Teams, Calendar, Calls, and Files. We will look at customizing the app bar in a future lesson. To navigate to an area of Teams, simply click one of the buttons in the app bar. As you click buttons in the app bar, the panes and windows to the right will change depending on the area of Teams you have entered. For example, when you click the Teams button, the pane to the right of the app bar changes to the Teams pane. Here you can select, edit, and manage your Teams. This is also where you will see your Teams channels where conversations between teammates happen. Similarly, if you click the chat button, the chat pane will display to the right where you can select from your chat history. When you select an item in this pane, such as a chat, its contents then appear to the right in the larger content pane. If you select a specific channel within Teams, you'll see all the channel conversations to the right instead. At the top of the content window is a series of tabs which provide members access to content and services within the dedicated environment of a channel or chat. For example, this allows a team to easily collaborate on a single document shared in a channel or chat by easily accessing it on the Files tab. The Command box runs along the top of the application and is used to search, take quick actions, and launch apps. We will examine using the Command box in more detail later in this course. To the right of the Command box is the Profile icon. The profile icon is where you customize your profile and team settings, set status messages, and change your availability settings. In the upper right corner of the Teams area of the app, you can click the More Options ellipsis to access various channel settings. We will take a closer look at these settings in upcoming lessons. The Compose Message box appears along the bottom of the Teams app in Channel Conversations after you click the New Conversation button and in Chats. This is where you create posts and messages. The toolbar below the Compose Message box provides tools to format your messages. At the right end of this toolbar is a Send button which you click when done composing your post or message. Now that you have an overview of the names and locations of the major on-screen elements, let's examine the use and purpose of these various tools within the Teams application in the upcoming lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.